Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Maxi. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I have found all of the heart pieces. And I plan on getting all of them in this one video, though I won't be getting all of them right away, because one of them are kind of spread out a little bit. So there was this one. I thought there would be more on the west side of things, considering how many of them were clustered together here on the eastern half of the world, but... Oh well, silly me. The next one I need to get is pretty close by, but I have to go into low rule to get it. Ah. Eh, you guys respawn, of course. And I also, along the way, I also found, all, I've now found all of the dungeons, officially, which pretty much just amounted to 7-3, and X. And even though I found 7-3, I did say last time that I was going to do 8-2, and I am not going to make a liar out of myself, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, just for the sake of consistency, and then I'll start... And I'll go back and do 7-3 and 8-3 then. In the meantime, the other heart piece is right here. The, uh, the uh, last heart piece is in Hyrule, but it's kind of far away, and I can get it after I finish off 8-2. Which, thankfully, is right where it's supposed to be. And it really won't take me long to get there, thank goodness. Mostly because I don't have to work my way around the, the river up here. I can just go right up here. <laughs> now, just a matter of which block did I have to bomb to do this again? Was it here? Ha! So, 8 to the tornado. Don't tell me we got. I got half speed here again, and oh! That's different. No red bubbles in this in here. Odd. Odd and slightly distressing. Uh, now I have to remember which. Secret passage goes where? Uh, and I have confirmed that that ring I got before, it is a critical hit ring, but unlike the one that I that you can get in Z in randomizer, this one doesn't make a noise when it goes off. It just happens. And. You'll know when it happens because you'll one-hit kill pretty much anything. So, does this go where I think it does? Yes, I think. Uh, maybe not. But, I think there was something here. Like the map, maybe. So, is the map still here? Yes, it is. But, it looks like I misinterpreted my internal map here. So I think that f that second room I was in was where actu was actually where I needed to go. And of course I wish this half speed gimmick would go away. Eh. Hopefully it'll at least go away for the nines. Let's hope. Alright, let's see where this one goes. I 
Thankfully, at least I'm not stumbling through this thing blind. That would really suck. Aha! And I know that there's something downward. So let's see if this is where the heart piece is or if it's something else. Like a Goma, for example. Okay. Well, that's one hit. And that's two. Three. Nah. Four. Yeah. And of course you're not susceptible to well to reflected shots. A Okay, so it was down this way. That's right. And no wall masters, but a lot of snakes. A lot of tough snakes. All right, come here. Oh, come on, die, please. Thank you. So, is this heart piece or something else? I'm kind of running out of ideas as to what some of these items are going to be, and it's a heart piece. And that should give me another heart container, shouldn't it? Yes, it does. And after this one, and the other heart piece in the overworld, that'll put me at three and a half left to get, and I'll have what, seven dungeons, so that'll work out, that works out. If, let me guess, I have to kill all these enemies again, don't I? No, I don't! Thank goodness. Probably not by much. Alright, so I got that done. Now, to go around the long way. Because I can. Mostly because I bought enemy bait. <laughs> and it's a shame I can't have the Zora kill itself, but... Oh well. So what do we have? Here we have... Three Dig Dodgers. Oh dear. And I mistimed that. Ooh, clock! Thank you. So, did I miss. Did I. Was my eyes playing tricks on me, or did this thing split into fours? Meh. As if I. Yeah, I. Mean, well, frankly, it's not often you see a variant on Dig Dodgers, really. Outside of maybe a custom graphic or something. Alright. There we go. So, what happens... When I kill all of these guys, I wonder. That's where the compass is. All right. And more Garias. Uh, of course. And of course, if I can critical hit them, that works out very nice. Oh, a key. Okay. Keys are good. Oh, jeez. 
10. Come on, fire, go away. I don't want to tank a hit on you. Thank you. Getting the fire boomerang right about now would be pretty good. But I'm not going to rely on that because I... At this point, I have no idea what I'm getting. Because somehow, I... Oh! I actually have full speed in these little spots here. Of course, now with this whole critical hit thing, I it's hard to tell how many hits it'll take to kill these things, since it seems to ebb and flow as it, uh, at its own pace. Uh. Ooh, clock, thank you. So I'm gonna guess this room has money in it. Yes, it does. I'm kinda curious as to what my money count is gonna be at the end of this if and when it ever actually caps out. Oh jeez. Jeez, the stupid sparks. Always a nuisance. Ooh. Well, I did have... S and I have sword beams back. Yeah, yay. Ah. Alright, now I have to be careful that I go into the right room here. Because otherwise, I might be in a bit of trouble. And dang you, stupid sparky thing! Uh oh. No, 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 wall masters, no. Uh, you know what? Screw that. And of course, that stupid spark's coming towards me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let it, let it go, let it. Uh, and I'm gonna be hit by it again. Frankly, I'd rather have it waste. Ooh. Okay, stop doing that now. Ah, yeah. Stop doing that! Good grief. So apparently, its effect kind of stacks on itself. I'm just glad it didn't waste a, something more valuable like a potion. What do we got here? As soon as a Sparky gets out of the way... If it ever does... Thank you! So what is this? Ooh! Fire Boomerang! Ask and you shall receive, huh? <laughs> Having... Ranged attacks for free, that is always good. Plus, I could stun these stupid sparkies and have them not be as much of an issue, hopefully. Yes, thank you. Whew, -hoo. I hope I don't need magic too much in these coming in these next few rooms. Oh wait, let me guess. Yeah. Uh nope, I'm that's gonna be the death of me, or... Yeah, okay. Don't try to get fancy, or else bad things will happen. Oh, 
at least, yep, I can damage these guys from afar. That is always good. Fire fire with fire, right? That always works. Alright, and I know there's something here. I have a feeling that boss key is going to be in that top left corner. Just a hunch, right? Uh... So we got level 1s and level 4s. Okay. Yeah, it's good that I can stun them and damage them at the same time. Alright. What monstrosity is here? Oh! Arias. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something like a patter or something. Because there's been precedent for that. And that is where the boss key is. Good. Very good. And time to go back the way I came, because I do not want to go through this whole stupid dungeon all over again. Ha <laughs> ha! Trying to trick me for a moment, weren't you? Yeah, we got that heart. Rooms like this would be a lot more interesting with those homing grass. A lot more troublesome to be sure, but sometimes you have to take one with the other. And a regular key. Alright. Yeah, because you need to get through here. Of course. And apparently this the this thing doesn't do any additional damage to Okay. So I could go into here from the top, but why would I? I can only assume that the uh, that the red ring is going to be in one of the level nines. I guess the question is just which one. I certainly don't expect it to be an eight four. I guess I have to push this one. Aha. And the thing is, considering the precedent being set, I'm going to guess that where the uh, bomb bag upgrade room is, it's just going to tell me that there is bomb upgrades elsewhere. Oof, okay. Good thing I kind of noticed the wall masters were there. Because that would have been bad. Guess, let me guess. Aquamentis of the orange variety. Yep. And your own reflected shots won't hurt you. Alright. 
Potion! Yeah, sure. Wait, what? Why? Okay, whatever. Okay, and there was just the two of them. Alright. That's fine. So, why is the boss door here? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh. Alright. So I needed the boss key get to get a regular key to enter the boss room. Okay. Fine. And I still have to push this block to get back. Uh -huh. Okay, so what is the boss of this place going to be? I'm honestly curious. Doesn't sound like the dawn goes, that's for darn sure. It's probably a nasty Patra thing. Let's find out. Yeah, it is a nasty Patra thing, and he brought friends. Because it's always good to have friends. Come on, drop a clock. That would be funny. Ah. Yeah, yeah, just tank the damage. They're dropping hearts. What do I care? Alright. And this should just take me out. Yes, it will. Now that I've done that, time to get that last heart piece and be done with it. So that after I finish all the nines, I can go get the Master Sword and Peace, which is over where the where the, the arrow is in low rule. In case I didn't show that before. And I do need all 24 hearts, so. Whew, okay. <laughs> Made it through that. Yeah, and it turns out that the last heart piece is way over here in the graveyard in Hyrule. And I did need the the whistle for it. I eventually started I, I didn't really look through the whole world all at once, as is obvious since I didn't get all that stuff sooner. Uh I don't know what to say at this point. Uh it's just Go ahead and grab this thing. And that is the last one. That brings me up to half a heart. Yep, and that is that. So, join me next time when I go into 7-3. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.